what's up everybody it's me Toki Suno coming from a very unfamiliar spot I don't think I've ever made a video on here but this is my desktop and this is the study computer that you guys see in all my live streams and what you're gonna see in the upcoming room tour that I'm gonna do like setup video sort of thing so yeah I'm making this video in preparation for that because I recorded one but it sucked so I need to re-record it that will probably be a next week thing but for this week I'm, I'm gonna make this video which is my uh, i3 Linux setup and yeah I'm just gonna cover some very basic things first so if I run NeoFetch right here, you can see I am using Ubuntu. I am an I was an i3 enjoyer, and the honestly the reason I'm making this video is because I'm switching off of i3. So this is i3. Um, it is a manual tiler. I do use the auto tiling script, but for some reason it just hasn't been launching on startup. Yeah, I just have it with a grub box setup and I'm using i3 blocks at the top. I actually really like i3 blocks. So if we actually CD into my uh, config and i3 blocks, we have my uh, config file right here. And I'm using Vivian scripts. So those are all here. There are some things I can't show because they're gonna be in the setup video. So I will show off how I write academic papers in like in LaTeX and I use LaTeX but I don't use a LaTeX editor I use NeoVim so if we go into and I vim into main.txt takes a little bit and here we go this is my term paper um so this is this is LaTeX this is where I Right, academic papers. You may be wondering why this all looks so weird and why everything is on one line. Because if I just continue to hold W, you can see that it just goes off and on and on and on and on and on. Um, you can just set a line break like that and it's fine. So that's what I do. Um, I do all my writing in here. So I have a bind to make it into a sort of focus mode. And there are different focus modes that come with this plugin that I use. My whole like NVIM folder is in the description so if you guys want to like try out and use my config then you can do that but yeah I this also has auto compiling so if I hit leader and L twice I get brought over here which is the whole paper which just does everything on its own. There's so much that is automated in in the process of making LaTeX shit that like it just makes the whole thing infinitely better just having like your bibliography automated and your examples auto numbered so one example I'll show right now is uh, where are my examples okay so like say we're right here right we have a we have three examples we have example one example two and example three right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of one of the examples. I'm going to compile and it'll just take a second. And you see right here, this automatically numbered this number three down here down to number two, which also did three, four and five. And I didn't have to do anything. Sometimes when you're writing like a like a paper or an essay, you'll you'll write down the name of a reference and it's wrong. So you have to redo all of them because you misspelled it the whole way and you can do like control F and then go through every single one but maybe you misspelled it differently in another area and then that messes up and then you look like then you look like an idiot because you have like typos and it's weird. So to avoid all of that all you need to do is use like this example function and it does all of it for you on on like on compile time for the entire paper and you can cite where you got your shit from within the same area so right here you see I have hfill which just brings it over and then I cite my resource and it it automatically shows up formatted don't need to worry about anything it's so nice so before I get any further you may be wondering what what the hell is this 
ancient looking PDF viewer. This doesn't look like Adobe Acrobat. And that's because, fuck Adobe. This shit's called Zathura. And Zathura is my favorite PDF reader. All what Zathura is, is a very lightweight PDF reader. Uses the Vim key, so I'm hitting Control D and Control U to go up and down the page. This is space, shift, space. Um, and it's very lightweight and it sort of has the same methodology behind Suckless Software. I think it might be Suckless Software. Don't quote me on that. I'm ignorant. <laughs> and that's what I th that's why I think Zathora is really great. Um, the second PDF reader that I'm going to cover is a Zathora fork. And if I do COYAC, it's called COYAC and main.pdf. You see right here, I have, once again, a PDF reader. And the background's white, you can change that, but also it has table of contents and you can highlight text and like, I can save the highlighted text like that. And I can do this, which makes reading a bit easier. It's it's this whole thing, it's really cool. So, Celiac Zathura, amazing for academics. So the final thing I want to talk about right here is uh, sync thing. I think I think sync thing is a godsend. Um, it's it's really good. It's very convenient to use across multiple platforms. And basically how it works is like for the most optimal way for it to work, you want to have a computer like a home computer that's on 24/7, which acts sort of as a host and you run the sync thing daemon in the background of the computers or the devices that you have sync thing on so to show off what i have running right now so i'm gonna log into my ssh we're gonna ssh into my computer in the basement and you see here this is a this was a thinkpad <laughs> um yeah i have a actually it'd be better if i do it in here so i have a folder right here called sync and this syncs across all the computers that I have that run sync things. So that would be like my tablet and my laptop, this computer and the computer in the basement. And when I'm on this home nested network, I, it's automatically syncs all the files. And yeah, it's very good. I think before I finish off this video, I'm gonna do a shameless plug. So I actually have a blog, if you guys don't know. I know it's weird to say in 2023 that you have a blog, that you have a blog and um, yeah, so if I go to tokisuno.rocks right here, this is the blog, and it's all written in Hugo, which um, I don't think needs any explanation It is or any introduction. It is a very good framework. So all of what I do is that if I go into content, posts, welcome.md, this entire thing was written in Markdown. Uh, what's another one? Motivation.md. Yeah, so right here, everything here is written in Markdown. Uh, let me actually just make it wider. Yeah, everything here is written in Markdown. Very cool. Hugo's cool. And yeah, this is my sending off to my i3 config. You will be missed. Um, yeah.